So on uh, Marcellus Wiley's YouTube channel, make sure you check that out. It's very good. Um, he had a video about Michelle Beadle, his former co-host from ESPN. And Beadle was saying how uh, TNT dominates ESPN in basketball. Beadle said NBA Countdown never got a chance to marinate. And she is correct. The problem with NBA Countdown on ABC, ESPN, is that they are constantly changing analysts, constantly changing hosts. The only host that I liked on NBA Countdown um, was Rachel Nichols. Rachel was a lot of fun. And the people who were there, like Tracy McGrady and Steven Jackson, were interesting dudes. The problem now is everybody uh, involved with M NBA basketball, for the exception of Woj, love Woj, Mike Jones uh, as a play-by-play -play guy, and Mike Breen as a play-by-play -play guy. For the most part, everybody else is annoying. <laughs> and you just don't care what their takes are. Like, you really don't. Like, I don't like, I feel the same way, way about Richard Jefferson that I feel about Perk. They're okay. I just don't want to hear them all the time. Now, TNT is totally different. TNT has had continuity because they let those guys just do what they do. Initially, it was uh, Ernie Johnson and Richie Theus, and it was, then it was Ernie Johnson and Kenny Smith, then Ernie Smith, Kenny uh, Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, and Charles Barkley, and then it was Ernie Johnson, <laughs> Kenny Smith, Charles Barkley, and Shaq for years. They have a good chemistry together. If that crew was on ESPN, it would have never made it. Charles would have been going to HR all the time. They say, Charles, you offended somebody again. E ESPN execs would be trying to talk to Ernie saying, hey, you guys are laughing too much. Keep these guys in line. And Ernie's like, I can't keep these guys in line. This is their personalities. And they will talk to Shaq, say, hey, Shaq, you mumble too much. ESPN, Disney would have been too hard on those guys. And that show would have never lasted uh, with their NBA countdown show with Ernie, Shaq, Kenny, and Charles. So but Beatle is right. The reason why Beatle didn't last, because Beatle ran through the same situation as Bill Simmons, because I think Beatle kind of got a little power hungry, just like Bill Simmons got a little power hungry, and both of them thought they were ESPN at that point. And Beatle is a talented broadcaster. She is a fun broadcaster, but in small bites. And she has a way of annoying people. Um, and the difference between her and Charles Barkley, because Charles Barkley also annoys people, is that Charles had ratings. Ratings will always trump anything. And Beetle just didn't pull in, pull in those ratings. But I hope she gets another opportunity someplace else. So, But Michelle Beetle, in this case, she is right. NBA Countdown is a disaster. It will always be a disaster. At least with Jalen Rose, who's remotely interesting. But they fired Jalen Rose. So who do you got? J.J. Redick? I like Doris, too. Doris Burks is fine. I like Doris. She's a good analyst. But overall, I have no idea what they're going to do next year of NBA Countdown. Maybe J.J. Redick? I don't know. And make Marvin Albert. He's retired. Give him give Marvin a shot. Find somebody if you want this show to work, ESPN ABC.